Number one, and you, my son, and I'm proud to be your mom. Man, straight tears. Uh huh. For Matthew. That's why that's always awesome to have a great support system, and he clearly has it. Hey guys, my name Dan, and this reaction comes from the channel Sunny V2. This is the saddest moments in YouTube history. Now I know where some of these are going. Obviously, not all of them, and I'm very curious to see how this channel sort of works, how they put their videos together, because this is just something I've seen other people react to, so it should be very interesting to watch. But before we do, though, please check out all those links I have for you down in the description below. More specifically, Sunny V2 link if you haven't already, which is a great way to support them, and a great and easy way to support me is to go right below this video, click all those buttons down there, because now it's let you see future reactions that I do, but also it's my channel to grow without any further ado. Let's go. Jake Paul to Joe Rogan. These are YouTube's saddest moments with Linus Tech Tips starting our list with this iconic live stream. He was supposed to be celebrating 10 million subs, yet Linus began the stream with a pretty somber tone. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it all happened. I've got this following of literally 10 million. Um, <laughs> and it kind of feels like luck sometimes. I'm probably more like you guys than you realize. He'd talk about the pressure his work put on his family. Aww. I mean, every time my wife would ask me, how long do we need to keep doing these kinds of hours? Like, how long do we need to keep pushing like this before we can just back off and like have a life? I started with, hey, look, I'm gonna slow down when we have kids. And I said, Aww. hey, thanks for basically soloing our first kid. Tell you Aww. what, I'll slow down when we have a second one. And then I said I'd slow down when they're old enough to remember that daddy was always working. And then I said I'd slow down when they got to the age where oh, they keep really on need putting it off. involvement to you know, help them with their homework or mm. their sports club or whatever else. With a story about Make-A-Wish, then bringing Linus to tears. I had a pretty life-changing experience a little while ago. The kid in question was too sick to travel, and they asked if I could record a personalized video for Aww. him. So I picked up my phone, I pointed at myself, and I just tried to think of something to say, and I couldn't. And I looked at their guidelines, and it had, it had just the most useless stuff in it. It was like, be upbeat, and don't talk about death. Oh! And I was just like, this kid's 12. Yeah. He's like dying of leukemia. Oh. <laughs> what? The last thing I can do right now is be upbeat. The only thought going through my head is like, everyone and everything I know is gonna die. All I could see in the photo album was my kids. The whole thing made me question why I'm doing this. Ironically, the thumbnail became a viral meme, leading to comments such as, came for the memes left with emotions, I'm not crying, I'm just water cooling my eyes, and where men cried. Nine, Bradley Martin. Yeah, I can dad. see why anybody would cry at that. That uh, it's just so heartbreaking. I, I honestly, I've never really followed him. I've only sort of heard about the video. I, I hope he's doing better. I don't know if he is. I hope he's okay. I hope his family is okay. I, I, I just hope they're okay. At the age of only six, which is understandably something he struggles to talk about. That's the thing, you know. When I think about my dad. Although the saddest example was during his podcast with Tyler Perry. I don't want to cry. But why would you, why would you even hold it? However it feels, you should let it out. Don't do that, man. Let it out how it comes. Oh my God, you're going to make Brad me cry. I was thanking Tyler for some advice he'd given earlier. People get so caught up in where they're at and in the moment of like the negative and the darkness and the evil and they, they, don't, they don't see the light. It wasn't as simple as what I thought it was then, which was my father didn't love me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I built up so many walls and, and who I was. It's, it's crazy looking back now how much it affected even my personal relationships, my, my, my intimate relationships, my relationships with my family friends everything and was able to end the moment with an excellent silver lining everything that we go through every hardship every every downfall is is going to be a new opportunity to learn and to grow and to become better yeah I, you know, what a great line i love that i love how you could just turn that negative into a positive that's wonderful Good. on episode 1123 of the joe rogan experience he and kevin smith were talking about their pets when joe passively mentioned he saw a veterinarian cry he's the only vet i've ever had um cry with me over what animal i had a puppy that had distemper ah man the puppy just after like a couple of days of being at the house would have these seizures like violent seizures and then towards the end it was having them all day long. As a result of the oh. dog's condition, it had to be put down. Oh! The dog. I placed him down. I gave him a kiss. I said goodbye. Oh! And he put the needle in the dog. And oh! 
and put the dog to sleep. Then we both went outside, man. He was just crying, just weeping. He was killed by a drunk driver. The vet was? Yeah, that was a, that was a rough one. I got an email, uh, I believe, from his daughter. Super good dude, man. Lady Kevin oh DeShare. Oh, my God. Story. Such a weird relationship where one day you're like, I love you to death, and I love you so much I have to kill you. And that last fucking hour was like probably hands down the most difficult hour of my life, man, because we all knew what was coming. And you're programmed to, to stop that at all costs. You're programmed to keep people around, keep yourself around. Seven, loaf. As oh my god, yeah, that, that really hits me so hard, just because I've had so many different animals over the years that I, uh, obviously I've loved, and, you know, seeing them get old is never fun. And then, you know, when their life is, is just basically at its end, it's, you don't really know how to prepare for that sort of thing. I mean, you try to, and no matter how many times you do it, it never gets any easier. Uh, that's why I just have times now with my current dog, because he's getting older and he has issues. And, you know, I try to not think about that sort of thing, because I don't want to. I don't want to think about, you know, my pets dying. The YouTube prankster, it seemed as though Loaf was always having fun. So when he'd post a video titled YouTube Save My Life with a depressing thumbnail and the following intro. Failure, loser, and loner are the three words that I would use to describe myself. It seemed the audience was in for something different. Loaf began by stating he had a tough time growing up. High school was a hard time for me. I was really insecure. I was really unsure of myself. I got bullied pretty bad. And thought oh. that starting YouTube would help to keep him safe. If I can make them laugh, like, then they're not gonna hurt me. However, Loaf oh. struggled to find success. For a while, it was just terrible like nothing was happening i would be embarrassed when people would ask me what i did even feeling like a failure in the presence of his parents like oh. my parents have never understood like the youtube thing that's probably like the hardest part because it's just like every kid every kid wants to make their parents proud sure you know what i mean since then however loaf has found massive success recently announcing he was able to buy a house Yay! i was able to buy it 100 percent with cash which Woo! Is also a big and cash six. damn yeah. dude similar to linus That's awesome was part of the make a wish program being chosen by a kid named alec for them to spend a day together this resulted in a video titled making his wish come true in which they flew in a helicopter and became extremely close Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Give me a high five. Did you enjoy the helicopter ride then? Syndicate inspired Alec to open his own channel. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so Hi. much. We're over 200 subscribers already. Damn! That's pretty crazy. However, just 43 days later, oh. Syndicate made a tragic announcement. They gave me permission to be able to let you guys know that, unfortunately, he did, he did, he did lose his battle. Oh. And you know, now he's in a better place because he really wasn't in a good spot. So, like, thank you so much. Five, Kaisen asked. Damn. I was trying to become... Damn, it, it always sucks when kids, they, they don't have a chance to grow up and it's an experience a full life. That every time I hear any sort of story like that, every time, regardless of how old they are, whether they're 5, 10, 15, whatever... Everyone should be able to experience a full life, and whenever that happens, especially when it comes to cancer, God, I fucking hate cancer, dude. I'm Twitch's most subscribed streamer, setting a goal of 80,000 to overtake XQC. Oh, when snap. he reached the milestone in late 2022, he almost couldn't handle it. 80,000 is crazy. Oh. oh. By getting a supportive call from his mum, oh! Senpai over the edge. One of my mom, ma calling me. Congratulations, son. Thank you. You're number one. I'm going to be watching. I'm be so proud of you. Oh. Baby, I love you so much. Baby, I'm so proud of you. You're number one. And you might oh. Number one and you, my son. 
and I'm proud to be your mom. Man, straight tears. Uh huh. For Mac That's why that's always awesome to have a great support system, and he clearly has it. Toro. Nicole Arbor was his girlfriend, and they seemed like a healthy YouTube couple. However, four months after separating, Matthew uploaded a video titled My Abuse Story. Oh no. It's not something people ever talk about, but I feel compelled to because I was in an abusive relationship. He began by explaining that Nicole was very controlling. This individual that I was with was extremely jealous. I had to cut every female out of my life out of social media, delete every oh. number out of my phone, before adding he'd been hit by her in the middle of an argument. Oh! So the person prevented me from leaving their home and said, you're not going anywhere. At which point, I was hit in the face. This caused Matthew wow. to break down crying. And it's something that men never talk about because we're made to believe that we're supposed to be strong. And I, and I never talked about it because I thought that no one would believe me. No one would give a shit. Leading to one of the saddest videos ever uploaded to YouTube. There's people that love you, and you don't need to be in that relationship. No, you don't. You don't no. need to be with someone that hates loves you. you. And, and uses you and manipulates you to do you everything. You need to be with people who love you. Jake Paul. They exist, like damn it. Jake announced he was basically quitting YouTube to train for a boxing match he'd scheduled against Anderson Gibb. The fight became his sole focus for almost half a year, and while he would eventually win, Jake revealed on Logan's podcast his life felt meaningless after. Like, I win the fight, right? That was my sole focus and purpose. All of a sudden, I get back to LA, I'm by myself, like, sitting in the fucking room, and I'm like... What, like, what do I do? In addition to feeling directionless, like, what do you do now, right? Jake explained he was dealing with four different lawsuits. And then Whoa! I wake up the next day, have a, uh, a phone call, like, with my lawyers for one of the lawsuits for literally, like, like, something I did not do. And it goes back to, like, people just, like, attacking Jake Paul and, like, wanting to see me fail for literally, like, fucking nothing. Like, they're suing me for something I didn't do. Like, on God. And then... You could take a break, take a break. Yeah, take a breather. Yeah, yeah let it us... sit for a second. Yeah. Which consumed not only his life, but his family's as well. My mom is, like, spending hours of yep. her day when she's, she's retired. She's in Hawaii. And they're like, yo, your son has to pay this, like, it just looks so stupid. To Dan TDM. Dan's dog Ellie was Sucks. a staple in his videos ever since he got her back in 2013. Oh no, I see where this is going. Reaction videos, fashion shows, and even Minecraft content stealing the hearts of up to 30 million of viewers. Of course! So Adorable. when he uploaded a video titled Goodbye Ellie, Dan oh. and his audience were totally devastated. Yesterday, unfortunately, Ellie died. He'd explain exactly how Ellie passed. Stings even more because she went in for an infected tooth. So she had to go in for an operation and you just didn't wake up. Just before we got the phone call that happened, we were already planning like how we were going to work out picking her up when she, um, when our operation is finished and then you sure. just get hit with that. Calling the loss one of his most difficult challenges. I know it's a dog, but for us, it's like a, it's a member of our family and I'm very lucky. I haven't had a lot of loss in my life. So this is probably the one that's been the hardest. Like my heart literally hurts. One, Theo Von. Yeah, I feel that. And like I said earlier, man, I, 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 I don't want to think about my pets dying. I, I don't, because again, there's no preparing for it. And Sean Strickland. There's been many a sad moment on Theo Von's podcast. Oh yeah, dude. We cry on here every week. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Sorry. Yet few compare to episode number 476. Theo and Sean began discussing their childhoods. I used to always sleep in my mom's room because I thought my dad was going to kill my mom. So, like, I would, like, sleep by the door. I'd sleep to under... To make sure she was all right? Yeah, I'd sleep, oh, under... I'd sleep under the bed, you know? I'd sleep by the door. Yet Sean couldn't finish his story as it was simply too traumatic. I remember I stopped believing God, man. Like, like I had fucking, um... Yeah, it's crazy shit, dude. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, I'm sorry, bud. So, ah, oh, man. Give that man a hug. <laughs> hug him right now. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm Please. Sorry, I want to hug him. We don't have to talk, man. I can just sit here with you for a minute. <laughs> I can just sit here. We can just nah, sit here. Nah, it's all good. You take a second. Just process it. Leading Theo to comfort him by offering his own story. I remember being so scared when I was a kid. Like, I was saying, like, I remember hearing that, like, animal pizza yeah. when another animal wouldn't come. So I would stand up at, on my bed at night and I would pee around my bed in a circle because I was afraid that things were going to get me. Shit, who were you afraid? Like, any particular? Just everything. I mean, I was just afraid of everything. Damn. Wow. That These stories, they all hit me in, in different ways. Like, 
obviously they hit me harder when it comes to animals because I've been there, been there way too many times. Um, but certainly the ones where the kids are dying of cancer, I, I, I have a hard time, uh, sort of dealing with that only because, you know, like I said, they all should be living a full life. Like when you're a kid, you're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to go outside, play with your friends, uh, maybe play some video games and just, you know, learn. And the last thing you should have to worry about is dying and cancer and being in a hospital and all that stuff so whenever stories like that pop up regardless of uh, you know not even knowing who the person is anything like that it always hits me so freaking hard but uh that's gonna do it for me here comment down below uh what do you think about the saddest moments in youtube history please leave a like if you enjoyed please check all those links i have for you down in the description below then lastly and most importantly i want to give a huge shout out to all my five dollar and up supporters on patreon Cruising, Wolverine 310, Kester Cronage, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshi, Chris Curtis, Haley Machinardi, Ann Perry, Larka, Fosca Cophony, Morgan Page, Misa, Misa 2, Lily the Snoopy Fan, Lauren, Jenny the Swifty, Allison the Aesthetic Girl, Fleet Street Viscount, Emily the Flower Lover, Sophie the Sunset Girl, Sarah Long, Summer the Dog Lover, Scott, Misa 3, Arrow Hamster, K, Inca Linquist, Aubrey the Charlie Brown Lover, Potter Brawny, and ZK Stuff. And if you too like to have a shout out at each and every one of my videos, please head over to patreon.com slash for more. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>